Welcome to another On Fire Family Happy Hour. Cheers. Cheers. It is Friday night and it is time to look at a great loop boat option. I'm excited about this one. This is one that kind of hit our radar last week and we're kind of stoked about the layout and the possibilities and looking at it. So and the length is reasonable yeah and the price is reasonable yeah not too long not too tight and actually a lot of good room so this is a 1990 48 foot ocean yachts and i don't know much about the manufacturer uh and i don't see the price on this site but i've seen a list of other places and it was 115. yeah so much better right in there mm -hmm. so let's take a look It's got this huge kind of upper salon. It's similar to the Chris Craft 501 layout that we looked at before. Right, with the... It's got a freestanding dining table, a full like residential style couch and coffee table. These are stairs that actually go up to the flybridge and it's a curvy staircase. Lots so you fun. pop out on the flybridge there. There's a helm station just in front of that. The galley is up and to the left. so. Everything's on the same level yep. and high up here. Great for entertaining, lots of good light, great for homeschool. I think it uh, we're looking at left here is the stairs, stairs. down to the, master. to the master. So very similar yeah. in layout to the Chris Craft 501 mm -hmm. uh, that we fell For $100,000 less? Yeah. Uh, we don't have anything about the condition in particular, but we'll click through. Uh, so this is an interesting galley layout compared to a lot of the ones <laughs> we've seen, right? But dishwasher, everything is kind of up here, a door out to the side. Like kitchen so door. So there's the, two doors the out, like there's the galley door and then there's the there's uh, like, like a helm, hallway. helm station door. It's a hallway Cool. between the two doors. A this little bar place. area, I've seen other ones with bar stools sitting here. Yeah, bar stools would be nice. Uh, fake fireplace. I think I prefer bar stools. Yeah, me too. For hanging out and for homeschool and yeah. whatever else. The forward stateroom, I like the Teak and Holly. Very nice. Boring. This seems Very like a nice. higher end yacht looking thing. Um, I assume this is the forward. Forward bathroom. Bathroom. Mm -hmm. This is in the forward uh, stateroom with this little kind of vanity yep. homeschool desk setup. I think it's more gonna be like a closet. all of the beauty junk that a teenage girl has. Yeah, what do you get to be beautiful for? We're gonna be able to <laughs> You've never been a teenage girl. That's, that's thankfully. Uh, the, uh, this is uh, aft. the aft stateroom, master. the master stateroom. So mm -hmm. down those kind of. I really like the darker wood more. as opposed to the last boat. That yeah, we me too. That honey oak is just not for us. What's the year on this? 1990. Okay, so it's older. So yeah. older is better. Yeah, I think probably. Huge up top. Yeah, like couches everywhere. The wicker would have to go, but. Yeah. We get some good lounging chairs. Used to be in the wicker room. No. Like, I'm glad you're coming like around. Like in high school. Like. Yeah. Uh, I don't actually see. I thought this one had a dinghy spot up here. We've well, looked that might at so be many it. boats that I'm getting confused. But uh, the line handling aft kind of upper cockpit yeah. area, which. That's a nice surprise. We like. Yeah. Good looking boat. Uh, is that uh, New York? Tower? That's yep. New York. Maybe it's New... I don't know. Is that the New World Trade Center? I don't know. Uh, we'll there's find the dinghy. out. Dinghy on, on the, dinghy on the swim step. Mm -hmm. So not a crane situation. So I don't know. I, That's fine. It is. Yeah. In this size boat. So this one's for sale, but and it does have a third stateroom, but you don't see it in these nope. pictures. Yeah. And so we went doing some internet research and we found another one. This is a 1992. We this know is, there's a third stateroom. See, this is the one I, I remember uh, why the dinghy on top. I think you can put the dinghy on top. They just decided to wicker it up. Yeah, it has an extended fly bridge on that one. Mm -hmm. And maybe it changed a little bit throughout the years. But anyway, let's look at this video. Okay. So I think it- So you get a two for one. I think we're falling more in love with watching boat videos, <laughs> then we are clicking through cl pictures because you just can't get it at the idea. See, I love the, the dinghy up on top. Plus there's this, I mean. This seems a little cumbersome, but I think it really will help like 
board the boat. Right. Especially if you're staying somewhere for quite a while. Yeah. A boat this tall, you're not going to just uh, put a tiny little stool in. I'll, I'll step out and pull it up when we're done. Yeah. You can tell it's COVID time. Yes. He's got his mask on. I, I, like like the, I like the wood table. I like though. the table. It's a perfectly adequate size. We don't need to extend it back there to the mm -hmm. dinghy area. A couch up front. The couch up front. Which we're liking. Ooh. Is that guess, wood is in the back too? Cockpit. I think it's yeah. teak, teak floored in the back on this one. It Tall moves. Some butt. Yeah. It's, it's very the, responsive. Definitely a mo motor yacht, not a uh, like Charles Good for speed island gear. hopping. So again, that kitchen uh, set up across from the Home Inside station, home. yeah. Mm -hmm. Lots of light with those two big doors. Yeah. Uh, this one's very neutral. Yeah. Really not my thing to but have again, it all neutral, but. Standalone dining table. Lots of Nice. Room. That looks like a comfy couch, whereas mm -hmm. some of them are not. Yeah. This must be the V birth forward. Uh, I can't tell on that. No, oh, no that, that was a master. The app, app. That's the V birth. Uh, yeah. And this, this is the third stateroom. So that folds down. You can't see me pointing at it. Um, it folds down over the desk for a bed. And then it has a walk-in engine room there. There was a port light door there. That's yeah. a walk-in engine room. So the third bedroom goes between the laundry, the washer and dryer, and the engine room. So, I mean, this is has everything that we want. Walk-in engine room, laundry, three staterooms, lots of light. Two home stations that look amazing. It's got the light handle. Oh, they're here. Here's the walk-in engine room. A nice outdoor, really nice outdoor um, fly deck. Petra, that's right. This boat's Petra. This one's not for sale anymore, right? I think. Uh, although, hang on, it's posted October 15th. Ooh. So yeah. Um, There's an option. All right, quick. Let's go. This is this is what we're doing. We're just clicking through. This is what we do. Here we are. There's some amazing pictures on this. This is a good site. There are. Some oh, this is the one we should have clicked through. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's what we're doing right now. There's some pretty terrible boat sites out so there. So this must be the app. Stateroom. Yes. And it is. So it's not dark wood, but. 90s. Yeah, uh, that's true. They, uh, the 1990 was had more of our yeah. speed of panel. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, it's everywhere. Yeah. That light. It may even be fake wood, which is my least favorite. Like. Is this the one with the fake front, or not? No. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. that was a different one. Yeah. But look at this shower, yeah. full wash, full you know, walk into the shower. And... Yeah. Oh, here we go. So this is that third stateroom with the desk that folds down. This door gets you over into the engine room. Engine room and then this door gets you into another head. So everybody gets their own head. Mm. There's lots of pieces. That's right, the video didn't show that their head. Oh, there and it is. And then there's the bed folding down from the office. It's kind of weird and awkward. I'd say, but uh, I mean, compared to sleeping on a dinette in a very similar size boat, I think our son would be more than. And we've seen them comfortable. set up where instead of the desk, there's a double it's bed. A full double or bed. Or there's two bunks. Yeah, right. It's just hard to get all the pictures of this boat in one boat for some reason. Yeah. But, and then there's the washer and dryer washer and right dryer, there, which is amazing. Which I think probably the boat is built around these. Like, I have no <laughs> idea how you can get this out, right? I mean, it's one thing getting it past this door wood yeah. thing, but then you got to get up here, and then you're just into that forward stateroom area. Then you got to get up right. and out one of those. Anyway, I wouldn't want to be the guy that has to. So either way, with desk or bunks or a double bed, like that third stateroom is a winner. Yeah. So I don't know if this is a fairly rare model of boat. We've not seen a lot of them. It's not a. We'll have to do some more research about the manufacturer, but. Uh, I'm a big fan. Yeah, it, you know, we looked at a Carver last time mm -hmm. and, or a couple times ago, and it had kind of a plasticky looking, not, Inside and not, not aesthetic. And mm -hmm. this, I like the lines of this boat. This looks more modern. This looks more European kind of to me than 
that carver. I just, I'm just kind of turned off by that, but this kind of does yeah. something for me. And it has Even all for this, a classic book guy. All the things. Yeah. So, it looks like a nice... Yeah, that's wonderful. Cool. We can we can do that. I think we are getting closer and closer to settling on brand? some must-haves and nice-to-haves. Oh, okay. And a handful of brands, right? We've looked at some boats mm -hmm. that have knocked our socks off. This kind of one being in that category, mm -hmm. and some that are just too small, too not gonna happen. Not gonna, not gonna. So. Look forward to a future video where we'll figure out what kind of things we must have and nice to have. Yeah. Washer dryer, we'll have to talk about. The more I think nice about to it, have, <laughs> the more have. I must have. When you see that you can have, yeah, and you see that you can yeah, why have three staterooms, the, washer dryer, yeah. the galley is amazing on this boat. Uh, why settle for a single helm station in an awkward place when you could have Indoor and outdoor helm stations. And the couch. I mean. The carver, I mean, it was 50 feet and it's, it still didn't look like it had a uh, washer and dryer. I mean, why not? Right. There's room. Yeah. This this seems cool. Yeah. So I don't know. Let's see if we can just find. Do we have the price? price. It's one of those requests for really info, nice. which oh. we have to request. Oh. <laughs> no, actually, 160. Okay, so less than 210, but on the. Far upper end. Yeah, and you know, a price is just, you know, the price, the asking price. Right. So these things drop by twenties of thousands of dollars each time until it's mm -hmm. And so uh, some of it's a crapshoot on when we're looking to buy and what the situation is. So this is a totally viable option. I think this is something we can get behind. Definitely. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining Thanks us for yet another On Fire Family Yacht Shopping Happy Hour. Cheers. Cheers.